let's jump into some of your photos because we could just probably talk the entire time, but let's show some visuals as well so people can see visuals and we can still keep talking. This is classic Morgan to me. Look at that, just the blacks coming off, but your highlights are there. The spray, it's like, this screams Morgan to me. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, the I, I mean, I don't take many photos throughout the day mm -hmm. or week or month. Mm -hmm. and like for example, this day, it was big, perfect pipeline. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of too too messy to swim out, or not big and perfect. Yeah. It was it was big and nasty pipeline, and it was just like kind of soupy and all over the place. And what I'll do is is sometimes I will stumble upon a moment and see something and just go hog wild, shooting as many <laughs> photos as possible. And other times I'll just sit and wait, and I've got nothing better to do than like read a book mm -hmm. and just chill. Mm -hmm. And um and so in this case, th this day pipeline, I remember Shane Dorian was out and absolutely running circles around everyone and just getting these big crazy barrels and um this guy tried and uh got closed out on mm. and it was at that moment that a big like like a, uh, my favorite part about the north shore of hawaii is these big squalls kind of move from east to west and when they do the sky goes dark and, and i was like i need to pinpoint the light on this spray on this on these surfers on chain dorian or whatever and um try to get a dark background and so in reality if i showed you the raw of this photo um the dark background is just like a dark navy blue mm -hmm. and in fact the waves and the surfers and the spray it's just pretty blown out yeah. like i overexposed it a fair bit when i dropped the exposure back down yeah. and to a normal level where you got detail on the surfer's face and then i put it in black and white this is how it looks but like that moment i had 45 seconds where it was about to start pissing rain and it was windy and it was nasty and everyone was coming in and leaving and this guy, it wasn't Shane Dorian, but it was just, I think it was Flynn Novak maybe, or mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Kalani Chapman. Mm -hmm. And he got the wave and I was just like, this is it, this is the moment. And of course he didn't get a barrel, but he went straight on a big, big nasty close out and um, got the shot, got rained out on, ran home and that was it. So, it was that visualization um, though. Yeah. You knew that kind of shot yeah. in your head. You didn't imagine this exact shot we're seeing right here, but I, for, to a certain degree, you had that visualization. I love that like kind of process of it because it's like, you know, from that ideation to how you want to create it and then all the elements. I mean, that's where preparedness comes together, right? Because it could have just poured Absolutely. rain. He never got the wave. He went, you know, he got in the barrel. It didn't turn out, but it's like, this is where that yeah. like beauty and like that collides. I mean, that's just beautiful. I have for every one of these moments, I have about 10 where I got rained out <laughs> yeah. on, didn't get a photo, yeah. <laughs> went home kind of pissy, yeah. but that's still, it's my dad good. always goes shoot loose, edit tight. So you're shooting at the, you know what I mean? Like there's going to be those many, many yeah. moments that we have that aren't shown. And then you have these beauties. What did you shoot with this? What lens did you shoot here? This was a, I believe this was either a fixed 51. No. Yeah. This was a fixed 51 point. <laughs> four or potentially an 85 uh 1.8 beautiful one of the two it's just gorgeous it's nice wow i remember this shot so this, this is one of my first yeah. uh yeah. photos i took where i was like whoa like photography is pretty cool i like, <laughs> like, I like this <laughs> um yeah so um this was in fiji i was sailing around fiji um i got hired by a large um basically like a, a sailing yacht to go and chill for a couple months. <laughs> and in exchange for a salary, I, I, cause I still didn't really believe that you can get paid like shooting photos. I was, I was about 20 years old and I, I said, well, instead of a, like a salary, can you, can I bring my two best friends? And they're like, sure. <laughs> um, so I took my two best friends as Trevor Gordon, and Brandon Smith, and we went uh, diving and hiking and spear fishing and sailing and, and had the best time all around nice. the outer um, atoll of Fiji. And after we found this little island in the middle of nowhere, and um, there was this this like little Fijian guy that it was his dad's island. I mean, this is a massive island with like Castaway from Tom Hanks, the Tom Hanks movie, and this big volcanic spire. And he had the whole island to himself and had nothing but um, a little, a couple half built eco huts. And so we we talked to him and um, we camped there for about I don't know, probably two weeks after, and <laughs> um, and we stayed with him in this wave. This is another, this wave was pretty rubbish out front and we ended up surfing it. We kept thinking it was going to be great. It was not great. Um, and this day um, we were out surfing and, and all of a sudden the sky went like crazy dark and there's these squalls coming um, down the reef. And 
I was like, well, we might peel out. It's kind of a windy and funky day. And then all of a sudden I watched the water start glowing like I'd never really seen before. So I paddled as fast as I could to the boat. I grabbed my camera um, and paddled back or jumped in and um, and swam back. And uh, Trevor got this one wave right before it, it, it completely blew out and started pouring rain. Wow. And we linked up and he does this beautiful turn right in front of me. And, and honestly, it's not a remarkable wave. It was probably like, shoulder high mm. and, and had these big wind chunks in it, but everything just came together in this moment. And it's funny because right after um, it started pouring rain, but there's this really crazy light and I got this duck dive shot and the colors and the, mm. the reef were incredible. And I, so I went in, I'm like, I got the shot. I got, it. it's amazing. It's this epic duck dive shot. And uh, we're, we're going through the back of my camera when we get back um, to the island and we're like, well, this, this photo is kind of cool. Well, set it aside. Um, cause I'd like take like 50 photos and then delete 45. I don't need like, that's like my mentality is like, I have, yeah. like, I don't take many photos and I yeah. keep very few. And then, so I kept, I kept this one kind of, um, I don't even know. I didn't really see anything special in it. And then I went back and, and Trevor was sponsored by Patagonia. So I showed it to them, the photo editor at Patagonia. And she was like, this is a really cool photo. And they use it for everything, <laughs> like catalogs, web, print, social, in-store display, everything. And that's the, um, kind of the photo where I, I uh, was able to make enough money off just that alone. And then also kind of got my foot in the door with Patagonia and a lot of big editorial mm -hmm. and stuff where I was like, whoa, like I'm going to, I'm going to become a photographer now. So it was the single handedly this photo that came out of kind of thin air wow. that kickstarted everything for me. That's <laughs> so wild. I love it. Yeah. I mean, that black and cloud I almost is just, deleted it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like it's not your atypical, but just his body language, the colors, the light and how like your eyes draw to it with like the clouds and the white water going through. It's just an incredible image all around. Like that is something special. I love that it got you into it and got you to where you are today. Slow cool. shutters. Let's talk about these. This is beautiful. What, what, what do you yeah. think your, your shutter is on some of these? I know. I use about a 30th um, of a second generally when I'm shooting these, um, but every moment and every light is different. So like, for example, the previous two photos, mm -hmm. I either shoot and it's super unorthodox. I like it. Um, I either shoot like basically one eight thousandth of a second yeah. <laughs> or I shoot everything at like one tenth of a second. And so, <laughs> and I, I, I really, I'm like kind of like this like uh, uh, creature of dawn and dusk where I only shoot like before sunrise or, or after the sunset. <laughs> And so like, this is, um, my favorite time. Like I'll go surf when I'm home, I go surf all day. And then right as the sun's setting, I run and go get my camera and I shoot until it's pitch black. Mm -hmm. And so the sun had just set in this moment is this crazy, um, stormy, uh, evening at Rincon. <laughs> it was really small. I think we we're just riding fishes and stuff. And this little wave came through. And, um, I think this was probably a half or a third of a second. Oh. And I was kind of pushing it around and, and it turned out and um, it just had really silky water and and uh, and this photo uh, um, got picked up and and pushed around pretty far. And, and it was kind of cool because it's just like a just one of those small mm. little funky. I think it had drizzled most of the day, just a, a, a rubbish winter evening at, at home where my friends Turns are out. Like, we just get out of the house yeah. and we're bored. So, yeah. So Shit. I love it. Yeah. This this is. This is Morgan. Yeah, and so this is the photo that yeah. uh, um, Zach and I really bonded over mm -hmm. in, in um, the Red Bull Lou in Hong Kong and, <laughs> and stuff. But this is this photo is another great example where I was on a surf trip with a bunch of kids, and it was for Surfer Magazine, and um, like Griffin Colapinto and Jake Marshall and Colt Ward and um, uh, a couple other like very prodigal young surfers were on the trip. Mm -hmm. And, um, and this was just between sets at cloud break mm -hmm. and they were pretty far out. It was a pretty big day. And I went under and it's just like, um, I was just kind of fiddling around. I think I was actually telling them I was going to go back to the boat to get food or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I took this photo and, uh, it, it just, it's, uh, it's just a photo that kind of like kind of eclipsed all the great action mm -hmm. and, um, lifestyle moments we had on that trip. Mm -hmm. It's just this one photo that kind of exists on its own and, um, yeah, just a, just a moment. I think this is kind of like also too, where, um, this was 2011. I was, I think I was 20 years old when I took this photo wow. and it's kind of, it's like a photo where I was like, I, I try not to take external feedback too much, mm -hmm. but at that point I was just like, I, like, I, I'm just gonna, I'm not really an action photographer. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna kind of, 
um, get garner as much confidence as possible to continue to pursue to shoot like random moments and stuff. Cause those make me, those are what makes me happiest. Like I've grew up surfing my whole life and surfing is amazing. And I, I, I personally can't do airs or surf pipeline or whatever, but I love it to death. And it's the, all the in-between moments that make it so special where mm -hmm. it's like, I mean, I play tennis a lot. I skateboard, I hike, I do a lot of different stuff, but man, it's like the, the being in the ocean and being amongst Absolutely. such different moments in the in between is is what really captivates me absolutely it's these little quiet moments you know what i mean that you can't recreate in that way it, it evokes a feeling here i mean just even your color and that sun coming through i saw that we had a question of the settings on that it might be hard because that was about 48 years ago you shot that <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i'm pulling it up right now actually and i can tell you the settings were um one eight thousandth of a second. Yeah, <laughs> one one sixteen hundredth of a second. Uh, f four point five on a sixteen millimeter fisheye. Beautiful. And I ISO two fifty. Thank you, Morgan. There we go. Very which nice. is why, which is why you get the absolutely. I mean, uh, I think this photo is even cropped a little bit, but that's why there's like pretty horrendous vignetting on it. Mm -hmm. Um and. I, it works. I personally don't mind vignetting Me neither. and like, I don't do really any Photoshop or like, like I know there's like Photoshop filters where you can get rid of vignetting and fisheye just uh, like you can see on the person on the right side of the photo, he's kind of distorted. Mm -hmm. I just, I just take the photo and I'm like, that's, it's cool. That was, that was the moment, yeah. you know, and, and I'm yeah. kind of lazy in that regard too. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, it kind of, in this sense, the vignetting um, kind of adds to the whole vibe Absolutely. i guess of like being like the view of a shark or, or i don't know but yeah. i mean again guys this is your style you guys should create your style and your look of how you see these moments when you go back it evokes that emotion like for morgan to see this know those things see the like colors and all those things it, it's something that i feel evokes your own personal feelings and then that's what you want to share and convey with the world so this isn't something that you need to conform to. This is how you edit on your water all the time. This is how develop your own. And that's the beauty of it. And that's what makes this such a powerful image that has had a 10 year shelf life and will be even further along, you know, that will be so um, incredible. I love this portrait. This is, this is not, this is something candid. This is something not set up, right? Or is this something that you guys planned mm. to shoot or no moments? So we were, this was in the Marshall Islands and we were on the, the original Indies Trader mm -hmm. and we were eating lunch in the cockpit house and going, uh, the, the wheelhouse, sorry, and going over a bunch of charts and uh, swell direction. Mm -hmm. And that's where the only computer was on the boat that had all the wind and um, weather readouts. And I was outside, um, the Indies Trader has some very eccentric smells to it. <laughs> and so there's only so much time I could spend inside. <laughs> um, and so I was cruising outside and, and it was actually really windy and a squall just passed and just rained. And I took this, again, I had been waiting for probably 30, 40 minutes. And I took this photo, this really pulled back shot of this wave breaking, breaking below sea level on the horizon. And I was elated and I turned around and I tapped on the window because also the wind was switching and the, the, this, these waves mm -hmm. starting to come in were just unbelievable. Switch around, tapped on the window, took a step back to go um, put myself close to the railing to see if I can get a better photo. And Kelly came to the window and he was looking out. And I point and I, he sees the wave, the same exact vision I just saw of this wave just like below sea level ripping down this <laughs> reef. And I turned around, and I just took the photo and that was it. And um, it's funny because I took this. Yeah. And I didn't have, we were on the Indies Trader and I had no power. Uh, I didn't have like a DC converter, so I couldn't mm -hmm. edit on my computer. Or I, I only could when we went to land every couple of days. So I, this photo is just existing on my, my camera. Jeez. And I tried to recreate it, convincing myself I could do better seeing this photo and being mm -hmm. like, wow, this is a really cool photo. I should kind of, I should try to shoot yeah. it better. Um, I should draw Kelly to the window a couple more times with like, <laughs> And see if I can get a, a better angle, better lighting. And this was the first one. This was the this was the one that kind of stuck. It, so. Isn't that funny how that works? Sometimes I've I've had the same situations, and you you shoot it and you're like, oh, that's so good. And then it ends up being that first one. It's those candid, unplanned moments. I mean, hopefully you had the right settings. You had all those things as you did. But it's like sometimes you don't get to recreate that. You don't get to recreate that candid. And it's it's very much being prepared in that moment. I mean. 
crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this photo still bugs the crap out of me. Like I would, there's a, <laughs> um, a big lifeboat um, thing that had a metal grate on it uh -huh. for filleting fish right below it. It's obscuring part of the window. Yeah. And I see this, like there's a thousand <laughs> portholes and windows on this boat. And I shot it out of the only one that's like obscured by this yeah. weird box. And it just bugs, it bugs me to high hell. And, mm. and yet, like I said, I shot him out of probably 10 other windows. Actually at one point, like I would like tap on the window and trick him like he was a dog or something. <laughs> and like trying to be, come on, look how the thing. Nothing yeah. this was it. And it was just like his facial expression. Yeah. He's just watching the wave, light, everything. It's, it's, that's how yeah. it works. I mean, I, I can't really think of a single, I've, I explained this to someone else not long ago mm -hmm. and I was kind of scrubbing my mind for other photos that I've tried to recreate. It, it It's like the, there's like a spirituality mm -hmm. to your luck never being able to, yeah. uh, to hit a home run twice. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And that's what's the beauty of photography. I mean, I think it even tells a story all in one. You look at it and you realize absolutely. that he's kind of doing that, you know, and, and viewing that it's, it's Kelly, how focused he is there. It's, beautiful thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of between sets make sure to like and subscribe to be tuned in on all future episodes thank you